The Zam Doc Manager is a component that allows your end users to organize and arrange the UI of your application to whatever they like by simply clicking and dragging on various tabs to create floating windows and dockable panes as you see here. Notice that this element that appears in the middle of my form is called a docking indicator and it essentially gives me a preview of where the user controls will end up before I let go of my mouse button. So if I hover my mouse and bring an element towards the center, it will create a tab group, which here's one tab, here's another one. And then I could rip items off and float them around and dock them here. I could create split tab groups. As I see here, I could split these guys up. And again, I could also dock and hide items. So here if I click on these elements, notice how the panes just fly out. Here's some more examples where I have some other user controls that I could dock and move them around the UI, as you see here, various tab groups. And we pretty much have a very, we have an enhanced docking indicator, as you see here, because in certain locations you might notice that we have additional elements that are included in the docking indicator. And again, this is the type of UI that you've seen in Visual Studio while developing applications. So let's take a look at some other functionality. So for example, as, I, as I'm moving items around and I wanted to iterate through all of the panes that are managed by the dock manager, I can click on my keyboard's control and the plus button and I'm able to navigate through the tabbed items or any of the other windows. And you could also template this pop-up window that shows up by creating a simple data template and placing elements within the data template that defines what it will look like. And if we were to take a look at the code of how all this works, notice how we have here an instance of the dock manager, and then we're adding content panes to the dock manager panes collection. So here's one content pane as we saw in the UI up here, and here's the other content pane. And then essentially you place whatever you want inside of the content area. And in this case, we're just putting in, we have a list over here, and then we have an image, and then they're all basically bound together. So I could iterate through the collection of images that are shown here. So again, the, the great thing about the dock manager is that it allows your end users to organize the UI however they like. And the best way of using this essentially is to come up with a UI arrangement that you feel is most beneficial to your end users and for those that want to change it around they could definitely do so and you could also use our persistence framework that is also included in Silverlight and what you can do then is appropriately call the save method whenever let's say for example the end user is logging off you can save and persist the dock manager settings and whenever they log back on you can load them back up again and we even have an example of this here so for example let's say if I, l I create a layout such as this one here say if I perform some docking move some things around as you see here and then let's say I'm about to log off and this is when you'd invoke the save layout and let's just say that you know your application loads back up again later on when I log back in that's when you call the load layout method and everything is returned back to the way it was when I last logged out. So here's some good examples on how to do that with our samples browser. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.